Two years ago when we started on this journey, you told us you wanted certain things from us. You wanted power. You wanted community. You wanted choice. <coughs> we also asked for exclusive games. A any chance of getting some of those? Uh, no? The highest res, the best frame rate, no compromises. No compromises. No compromises. No compromises. They're not holding anything back. They're not holding anything back. Yo. Hello, YouTube. It's your host, Axel Rose, the Shogun with the slogan, and you are now watching MVP Magazine. Now, E3 has already come and gone, and the Microsoft conference is now the thing of the past. And the more I think about it, I'm not exactly sure if Microsoft actually delivered on what gamers truly want. Now, we all knew they were there to definitely try and sell us on a Project Scorpio. And that's all good. It's coming out this year. They need all the time they can to get us sold on that new product. No problem there. But I'm not going to lie. It's been a well-known and established fact that the Xbox brand is in dire need of them exclusives, baby. I mean, it's even to the point where the mainstream media is putting that out. How many more years are guys gonna say, wait till E3 for them to drop their exclusives? Nah, 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 nah. Right now, we're not even seeing Microsoft do the beginning of sowing the seeds to make sure that new exclusives get made. Where's the new companies? Where's the new development teams? We all know that Microsoft are supposed to have these deep pockets. Then where are the new development teams? Wait, wait, wait a minute, actually, forget the new development teams. What happened to the old ones? What, what happened to Lionhead Studios? Gone. What happened to Press Play Studios? Mm-hmm, gone. Hey, yo, remember those guys, Twisted Pixel, who made that cool game, Explosion Man? Yeah, that's it, that's Explosion Man. And Comet Jumper, yeah, they're gone. In fact, in between 2014 and now, Microsoft spent so much time closing down their own studios, they ended up closing down other people's studios. Like, like how is that even possible? Dark Side Studios, the team said to be responsible for the Phantom Dust reboot, had to close their doors after dealing with Microsoft due to financial mismanagement and overall corporate douchery. Hello, Jeeves. This is Austin. Um... Is Dark Side Studio still working on that Phantom Dust reboot? Uh, yeah, it's coming along okay. Could be going better. I mean, the team just need a little bit m more money, more funding to implement all that extra stuff that you asked them to put in, like the multiplayer and the story mode. All that can't be done on like one million dollars, but yeah, more funding. But yeah, more funding. C more funding? Cancel that. C yeah, 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 cancel that. This is Microsoft up in this, okay? Yeah, cancel that. But Austin, the development team have already quit all their other projects and you know, they're de dedicated to us right now. We need to get this game finished. And besides, we need more exclusive games anyway. Uh, uh, Austin, he hello? Now, I probably wouldn't even be making this video if I hadn't looked on YouTube and seen so many Xbox fanboys changing the narrative once again of why the Xbox One is going to be the best, most superior gaming experience we've ever had. And you know what, I wouldn't even mind if it was about something legitimate like the actual quality of the games on a console But you know these Xbox fanboys don't even care about games, you know, you know that They don't even buy the ones that come out on their system, the exclusives At this moment in time it's quite painfully clear that the only thing these Xbox fanboys care about is being even with the PlayStation 4 But here's the thing Microsoft have changed the narrative so many times that these Xbox fanboys don't have a leg to stand on. Whether it be the cloud, family sharing, DirectX 12 and Xbox Play Anywhere, which let's face it was literally the death and end of all Xbox console exclusives. And certain fanboys will still champion Microsoft and cheer for them. It, it just literally makes no sense. And here's the thing, Microsoft didn't even deliver on the Xbox One X itself. It was supposed to have uncompromised frame rate and resolution, was it not? And there's this whole thing with Xbox fanboys trying to deny that Microsoft ever said that. Yes, they did say that. 
The highest res, the best frame rate, no compromises. The highest res, the highest res, the highest res. The highest res. The best frame rate, the best frame rate, the best frame rate. No compromises. No compromises. No compromises. Now, for the record, this video is not directed at regular Xbox fans and gamers. Hell no. This is just for the fanboys. That's that's why I had to slow those those parts down when that lady was speaking because certain tech guys and other idiots they 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 seem to forget that Microsoft said this stuff themselves. So hey, that that's what we have to do out here. Like, I'm on a multiplayer podcast every Thursday, shout outs to Zaya and the whole team, and we know they're mostly Xbox guys and stuff, and not once have I ever heard them bring up the future of Xbox, like where they're going as regards actual games. Phil Spencer can send all these sly shots about multiplayer and service-based games being the future and whatnot, but hear what? Games like Horizon Zero Dawn and Zelda Breath of the Wild, which came out three months ago, are still in the top 10. Selling. Nobody cares if little idiots on podcasts talk about the games. These companies care if people are buying them. That's what keeps them afloat. This is a business after all, not a fanboy play, playground discussion. And right now, talk amongst Xbox gamers needs to be on where the future of the brand is going, how many studios Microsoft are building. You guys are about to buy another console for, for what? Just to have the highest version of, best looking version of multiplat. So what? Like, so what? Like, it's so bad that they, they fooled themselves into thinking, and I'm not talking about Zaya in particular, shouts to him, he's a gamer, he got all consoles and stuff. I'm talking about Xbox fanboys in general. They fooled themselves into thinking that exclusives don't matter. When that's crap, the Nintendo Switch has the weakest hardware and the weakest online system out of all of the competitors, yet it's sold out on the strength of its hardware. I mean, sorry, its software. Facts. Whether you like it or not, Breath of the Wild is a hit and it's selling and it's going to keep selling. Come on, you Xbox guys really need to get it together because you guys are making the brand look bad. Like, just bad on a whole, man. And it's, and it's terrible. And it's like, coming from someone who lives in England where the Xbox brand isn't that popular, I try to convince my friends all the time to get an Xbox One. And the first question they always ask is what games are available? What exclusives should I dip into? And if the person I'm talking to usually owns a PlayStation 4, there's never usually that much to get them into coming over to the Xbox because... They've both got the same multiplats and the Xbox doesn't drop that many exclusives. Now Sunset Overdrive always seems to get a positive response whenever I bring that up. But the Xbox brand needs more man, it just needs more. I mean it's gotten so bad that even the Red Dragon is saying that Microsoft needs more games. I mean, <laughs> I'm just leaving it there. So yeah man, let me know what you think about these crazy Xbox fanboys man. They've gone too far man, they've gone too far. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like, you know what, whenever I see Microsoft hyping up about the power of the Xbox One, you know what I think about? Some of you believe your system is the most advanced in the universe. Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is 16 bits, 3DO is 32 bits. Xbox One. Or is 64 bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Hmm? 16 and 32 are less than 64. So with 64 bits, 3D graphics, real world animation, and lightning speed that you can only get with- Xbox. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Can you repeat the question? Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. Please buy the system.